when my father passed away, I had a dream to, to become a football player like him, and uh, I think it was my drive. I knew that in Armenia there is not a big future. Of course, I, I wanted to play in my national team, but uh, for a club I always dreamed to play in, uh, in the best clubs of the world. It was a dream. I could never imagine that um, I will ever play for Manchester United. Of course, uh, I had the goals, I have drive to say that um, I have to reach this level, I have to play for one of the best clubs. And uh, actually I did, but I couldn't imagine at the time because like, I was young and it was just a dream. I've trained very hard to, to reach my goals. In football, everything is just about click. Click. one click, everything can happen. I didn't realize that the, the goal was such an amazing goal, but uh, then uh, when I watched it, I said, oh my God, <laughs> this is really impressive. Here we go, Mesh, Aysel Badrucan, Pandistan, Heros. I mamas mes ina yotana sun nis tarikana. I says inka et xavi intasku. Yerim mitas tarikyan kama velatsa vet gola vor khates me golor esantani kubanes me at gol goran sing vot yerim arivan eshkani zarta deli et esansen. Mama <laughs> Yes, it's Hagan and Paiman Pescanayan. Yes, a chillum, we saw a Kerkenuchunka, Kerkenuchuna and Paiman, no this Nayman. But at Martin, if football has said, if football has said it. Machitarana made high as give parts and now. Sported the socket of Esther Wadrucham. Muchas and Machitarian. Tert are a more Machitarian. He had to have a he is the most famous person from the country uh, representing it to the world and uh, I can also add that as a football player today he is the only one from the whole CIS post-Soviet Union area uh, representing the Eastern European um, countries uh, Russian-speaking countries in the West he is our hero he's really our hero he is the hero of this country of this society everyone is uh, proud of him even people who do not uh, normally watch football every day even they started to watch the English Premier League and to follow Manchester United Peter Turskak 
մեկին հասնեք ճանաչում ես հենիք մի խիտարին ես չեմ կազում որ հայաստանում կդնուի մեկը որը ասի չէ չեմ ճանաչում իհարկե իմ կարծիքով հայաստանը դարձել է մանչեստեր յունայթեդի երկրպագուն ամբողջ հայաստանով դարձել են բոլորը մանչեստեր յունայթեդի երկրպագուները իհարկե շատ մեծ նշանակություն ունի հենիքի հաջողությունները մեր ազգի համար I knew it's going to be not easy, it's going to be hard. Why? Because it was a new team, uh, new football style, new lifestyle, new manager, new teammates. But uh, I couldn't miss this challenge. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't want to regret for the things that I didn't do in my life. And I always said that uh, I'm always looking for new challenges. With Mickey, we brought the player that was voted the best player of the of the Bundes, and voted not by the fans, not by the um, journalists, voted by the fellow players, and that is what means more, I, I, I believe, because when your fellow players are the ones that that choose you, means means means a lot. Ես քերի սկզնական շրջանում չեր խաղացնում, որտեպ չգիտե թե ինչ արդյունքի կտա։ There's lots of questions about Henrik Mkhitaryan. Can you clear up what's happening with him? Is he fit? I mean, there's a lot of speculation. Mkhitaryan is not injured. Mkhitaryan is training with the team 100% and in limitation in terms of his fitness related to injuries. Հանաման ձու հանգարց, որ կամանդի մեջ չեն ենդ կրգում հենդիկին, ոնց որ հիաս թապություն ենք աբրում, նման խաղացողի ոնց կայլի է նստեցնել պոխարինողների բանում ու չը խաղացնել, ես կոչ եմ անում մուրինյոյում, որ <clears throat> to feel the intensity, they need time to feel the, the, the aggression, they need time to feel the game without, without the ball, the competitiveness. Does Miki need time to become the top player we know he can be? Yeah, I think he needs. When I had difficulties at the beginning of the season, I wasn't playing so much, then I've got injured. It was like a, a moment that I was going down. But he needed a period of, of adaptation at, uh, at every level and in that period he was a great professional because maybe another guy in his, in his position would find excuses, would blame the manager, would blame the pitch, would blame the weather, would blame like many of the players now they do. He was quiet, closed his mouth, worked really hard, waiting for opportunity. I don't like to speak too much, I like to work more. But then in just one click, I went up and uh, everything was good and perfect for me. Great ball in. Oh, that's amazing! Henrik Mkhitaryan with a touch of genius! Get us all out of our misery and reveal the goal of the season He's winner. And I said, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Thank you very much, Andrew Corden, winner of goal of the season, Henrik Mkhitaryan. It's always uh, a pleasure to to hear a good feedback from the supporters because it means that you have done something good for the team. So uh, when they they sang the first time, I felt goosebumps on my skin, <laughs> and then uh, I felt strength, power coming into me and I felt that I have to do more for this fan and I have to, to, to play more than 100% and uh, I have to score goals and assist. Miki is a, is a fantastic player um, and what I, I like more is um, 
is something that is undeniable, which is the number of goals that he scored by not being a striker. Uh, his number of goals per season is really high. Um, the number of, of assists uh, is also very clear because shows clearly his creativity, his vision, his concept of collective uh, play and it's something that I believe is really important for a club like us that will try to be dominant and will face uh, for sure teams with, with a very defensive profile which is his, his capacity of acceleration of the game. He has a change of speed with ball and without ball that, um, that is very very important for a, for a club like us. If you achieve and you take new opportunities and new goals and you achieve them, you are becoming more stronger. Maybe the first one to mouth, I couldn't imagine that I'm still a player of Manchester United because I thought it's a dream, but at the end I've got used to it and uh, I felt a part of this team. I think uh, every Armenian child would like to be here as a football player and uh, of course uh, it makes me proud, it makes me very glad to as an Armenian player, as an Armenian person being here as a part of Manchester United and playing for, for a big club. He is a very important uh, man for this country, uh, not as a footballer, but as a guy who symbolizes this uh, if we may call it Armenian dream. I'm Kardzikov, Shad Medzan Shanagutun, I'm Kardzikov, Tiva Rachin Sportna, Uhenichi Hajovutun, I'm Kardzikov, Nuimpes has that symbol, we see how a footballer. The high footballist is a very good technique. The coach is a very creative football. Եթե անցանոտ մեկը նայի 22 ֆուտբոլիստներով պարապում են ինքը չի ասի որակները մի կողմ թողնենք չի ասի որ սա Հենրիկ Մխիտայանն է սուպեր աստղը Մանչեստեր Յունայթեդի ֆուտբոլիստը իր պրոֆեսիոնալ մոտեցումը ինքը ամեն պարամունքին նվիրում է 100%-ով կարծում եմ լավ օրինակ է ընդգերների համար Armenians uh, always love sport, not always uh, football, because you know that we are good, for example, in wrestling, in boxing, in some other sports. Because after the uh, collapse of the USSR, we have our national teams which participated in Olympics and we had um, some uh, gold medals, silver medals. Uh, but of course, football was uh, very important, I think, during uh, past decades and still is very much. And you know that in 70s we have the team called Ararat which participated in the uh, USSR championship and, and uh, even won it. So it's uh, still uh, today, I mean, uh, more than 40 years have passed, but people are still remembering this as a moment of national pride. I am a footballer in Kanava Karaval, a baller sport at the very bench, a master gun sport at the very bench. Silva sport at the bear, a Jotim, a footballer, if Jamanakin, the Hortain, Tarinel in bear, a Kakam footballer, Marakan in Metzer in Akutuner, a very clear approval, as Hortain, Plus Hortain, Plus Mitsato, Mikich, Hetan Tatsa Pet, Hadaster, Women Alutsk, but Amena Metz problem, I know Hortain, Jamanak the room. Մերի երկրում կար շատ գումար, իսկ իմա դարա պարկասկա և բոլորը սրգիտեն, որ վուտբոլում վուտբոլը զարգանալ համար ամենա կարևոր նյանստերից մեկը դա գումարն է։ Հայաստանով վուտբոլ շատ են սիրում, ուզոք մենք առաջներում 
մեզ նվաճումներ ենք ունեցել Երևանի Արարատը Սովետական միության առաջնության չեմպիոն է եղել, գավաթակիր է եղել, այն ժամանակ իշմեմ 75 թվականին ունիս խաղատ բավարյայի հետ չեմպիոն է իր լիգայում, Հայաստանում մեկ զու հաղթեց շատ մեզ բում է, հիմա էլ են շատ սիրում, ուղակի սպասում ենք լավ ժամանակների, մեր հավականի լավ խաղերի։ I think during the Soviet uh, times, maybe there was more attention and more means were, uh, were spent on the sport. But overall, I think, yeah, today, and especially for young people, who even, uh, they don't know what, what is USSR because they never lived in it. So, yeah, it's, I think, uh, overall, football is, is more important today. Սոցյալ տնտեսական վիճակը ծանըղ է Հայաստանում, մեր ինչպես գիտեք վուբոլը կավված է մեծ կումարների հետ։ Նրա համար իմ կարձիքով մի կիշտ դժվար է առաջ կնում, բայց եթե հենի գիպես մի քանի վուբոլ I was a little kid when his father was playing in, in Yerevan Ararat and he was very, very popular and he was one of the best players in the, uh, the USSR championship and he was very talented. Ararat'in. մեր հայկական վուտբոլում, մեն ժամանակ հայկական զբորնի չկար հավակական, բայց սովետական միության մեջ համլետը իրավանդը թողեց շատլան։ Եվ նա էր առաջինը, որ Հայաստանից դուրս է կավ արտասահաման խաղալու պլանսյակնալ։ Ես համլետ Նխիթարյանի հետ բաղթեմ ունեցել մարձվեմ խաղամ, ինքը են ժամանակ մեր ոչ միայն Հայաստանի, այլ կասեմ այո, նաև Սովետական միության լավագույն հարցակողներից մեկ մեր, բայց եթե համմատական անսկասնենք հենրիկի ու համլետ Նխիթարյանի մեջ, Հենրիկը մի կիչ ավելի ստեղծագործ վուբոլիստ էր, ավելի շատ փորձմա թիմիխաղը կարավարի։ Հենրիկ ուղաս 7 երս ոտ, ուղեն մայ հոսպան պաստ ավելի ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ուղեն ու But he took it. We have a gnome in our house, and it's my son. Since we lost our father quite early, this became kind of a tie between all of us, the three of us, and also at the time with my grandmother. When my father passed away, I had a dream to, to become a football player like him, and uh, I think it was my drive. Uh, seen him playing, seen him training, uh, you know, it was something uh, exciting for me. And when he passed away, I said, no, I want to become a football player. I have very good memories because um, sometimes we were uh, watching his games in the stadium when we were in France. And uh, I remember very well that um, whatever I was asking, he was alwa always buying me the stuff that I want. And uh, he was never saying me no because uh, you can't. Uh, I cannot buy this you because it's not good or something. He was always buying me the stuff that I wanted. And as well at home, he was uh, like uh, he was really like a father. He was taking care of me, of my sister, of my of my mother, all of us. And um, of course, it's not because of my dad. I'm saying like that uh, because I heard as well a lot from his friends, from from my other family members. They are only praising him, so um, he was a wonderful football player, but as well a wonderful man. 
I lost my husband, but I have, I'm happy with my children. And this is very important for me. Thanks to you. He understood also the role he has to play as a football player, replacing his father's unfinished career and um, also at home kind of prote protecting my mother, uh, trying to set an example for myself as well as a man. For me, he's a role model as a man. I mean, if one day I marry, I, I want a man to be like him. <laughs> <laughs> what is important that we live in different countries, but we are very attached to each other. Even now, every day we speak to each other. Uh, we have a very good uh, relationship. We are very connected to each other. Uh, there are no one day that uh, we're not talking to each other on the phone or by, by uh, chatting. Uh, we're helping each other in every aspect. doesn't matter it's football. It's about football or about life. So we're very close to each other. He's the leader, should be as a man, as a, as a brother, as a son for my mother. So he's the one that decides on everything, but obviously what is really nice is that there is a, a balanced um, share of opinions and views and understanding within the family. And so I think that there is another great symbolism here that Henrik is continuing what was his father was not able uh, to achieve. And I think this is another uh, component to his popularity because people of older generation who remember well his father, they see him as a continuation of his father. So this is another thing that adds to his popularity. Maybe I couldn't uh, imagine what means to be a football player because uh, when I was like seven, eight years old when I started training football, playing football, I couldn't imagine that there, there are a lot of difficulties behind that. But uh, year by year, I could understand that uh, it's not going to be easy. So I have to push very hard, I have to train very hard and uh, to, to fulfill my wish, I have to do everything what, what's needed. At that time, he was not so strong as now. And most of the people, they ask me, are you sure that he will become a football player? And I always tell them, it's not important to become a good man. in Armenia after when we came back from France because uh, as you know I lived in France for seven years so we came back to Armenia and it was hard because that time uh, we had problems with the light with the water and uh, people were suffering because of that we could have like just a few hours per day water and light it was hard but it was the time that uh, you should have been uh, strong and uh, wait until everything will be sorted out and uh, yeah whatever we had a uh, difficult uh, childhood and uh, but uh, we could survive and now everyone is living happy and uh, in a good condition but uh, you could see how you how our parents our like family members they were uh, trying to do everything for their child to get them safe in a, in a safe hands and uh, to do everything for them Mishti Yagalem Mechad Jerry Mahara Berutuner, Eric Ink Shot Husali in Kere Handisanum, Navirvat and Kerutana, Naganatum Martka and Hara Berutuner, Yev Arrek Nere, Yev Amana Karabur in Jeskuzan Ayasela, as we are Chin Hingvestal Nerin Tatskum, Na Univor Shaki Karkavich, Sakain in Chies Amana Shatam Ganatum Mirmech, Vorna. Chuni Naman had good tuner, Chizerk, Verel Naman had good tuner, Inspissin and Hag, Gorozutun, Metamatutun, Incha Shat Kalevole, Yev Shadwok Chunelehana, Watch Mizev Chipokhle, Mia in the Pilavne Pokhle, Liren Kerner in the Katman, Pumartka in Haraberu Tunerum. Same Kartikov Amena Kalevorne, Irmesh Nerkayum.
We're going to meet the Armenian kids to UCLA. So I'm happy to meet them. I'm happy to to chat with them. So let's see which kind of questions they're gonna ask because I have no idea. So I hope we're gonna have fun and a good time with them. Can I get a picture? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To understand that uh, only you can achieve your dream and you have to move forward because that's your life. It doesn't matter which way you're gonna take in your life. It's gonna be a football player, it's gonna be a lawyer, uh, I don't know, a, a businessman or something. If you're doing something, you have to do the maximum. If you're gonna be a football player, you have to give your maximum. The hard work is, is a talent as well. There are a lot of examples of football players and of uh, businessmen or rich people that they have talent and they work hard. But they don't have talent, you don't work hard, you achieve nothing in, in this life. So if you're going to combine the talent with the hard work, you're going to be amazing. So what I want to say is um, you have to believe in yourself because no one will believe except you. And you have to think that no one can stop you to achieve your dream. Everything was great. Everything was very good. I've got the pleasure to meet up the, the kids. I think it was helpful to them to give some opinions and some advices. A few days ago I was talking to my mom and she said uh, you were always saying that you want to be famous and I told her, yeah, but not, not as famous as I am now. He's so calm. He was so calm. Even now he's calm. <laughs> and he, he was a very nice guy. All his uh, respect towards the adults. A little boy that would smile to everyone's face. That's how I remember him from the childhood. He had a boy. красивый. Воспитанный, дисциплинированный уже в этом возрасте. Мальчик был. Мама была его очень внимательная. Бабушка каждый раз приходила в школу. И когда бабушка говорила, он бедненький, эту тяжелую сумку носит с собой, но с каким рвением он ходит на эти тренировки. I don't know why the names of the football players became so bad that people think that uh, intelligent and some stuff like this. But if you see now, the football players they become more intelligent and uh, they know how to how to cope with uh, with people. They know how to to keep themselves when they are outside in the restaurant or in the club. I don't know whatever they are. I just want to say that. Um, of course, it makes me pleasure that people can say that, uh, yeah, you're a rare football player that knows like six languages and uh, is very intelligent. It makes me pleasure, but, uh, you know, this myself. I cannot change and I cannot say that everyone has to be like me. Верчей дебацем, ордер болу, гната канет не карутаин. Таснин камар. А я тут лежу, таснин инерстацел. Ксам баланет самака. Таснин инерстацел. Мия ин чорселуни, инка анраши рекля чапучун. Зикара канет. На тот заболуре хинге. Мехитарян Хенри хамлети.
it's not about luck it's about uh, are you going to use your opportunity or not because everyone gets uh, opportunity in this life but someone use them and someone doesn't use them the talent is not enough you have to work hard if you work hard and uh, you combine the talent together you're gonna achieve your dreams Ben ilk vakit Tayland'a da ders yasan canan çımam ve starekanız. Aynı zamanda gez pionik futbolu en akım bir nakaganı isna andesanlar pioniki patani futbolu istez. Dren tayinleri zinka futbolu met sirahar es yev met fana du hem sen zaman eki zirve met inovasyonu futbolu. İniş benimle mera profesyonalizni esas mam ağır. Ben yine bir aşkada sivilciyam, bir profesyonalizmi aşkın hasarlanan inci inki yer azım et. First, when he left the house, it was when he was 13 years old. He went to Brazil, to São Paulo football club. And all the people, they asked me, how you allowed him to go at 13 years old guy? He's so young. And I told, but he has a goal and he must... Uh, achieve to his goal. That's why the reason. Nesilay Henrik Mkhitaryan in Masin, but he is also a very important part of the country. He is a very important part of the country. He is a very important part of the country. He is a very important part of the Mian kamit serivat sira nardutuna karka pautuna xelatiutuna şad lurca şad lur karsız poklu sovratrene vur futbolun madrukne çıka ki şad laver haskat sete taracan kamara çıta pautuna lur şad lur tağay karsız metasas poklasat lüket. When I was in Tunic, of course, we were winning the the league title, the cup title, the super cup, but uh, for me it was uh, like it means nothing to win Armenian trophies for me because if you win European trophies it's worth much more than to win in Armenia and everyone know my dream after three years when I spent in Armenia when uh, I've got 20 years old then when I went to to Ukraine after after Punic so I want to reach the the maximum to play in Europe and to win some trophies in Europe I knew that it's not the maximum that I can reach Եվ որ հենդիկ մխիտարանը խաղում էր մետալուր դանեցքում, դանեցքի մետալուր գում, եվ այնպիսի գումարնը չեր վաստակում, որ ուղակի Հայաստանի մակատակից մի փոքր ավել գումար էր վաստակում, այնց է ճամանակից։ Եաշի տար նի տոլկը финансовый вклад в развитие страны, но это тоже имеет значение, когда во многих уголках мира знают о существовании такой страны Армении, и уже люди начинают интересоваться и историей Армении, и что она из себя представляет. Это тоже очень важно для нас. I could never imagine that uh, playing at Manchester United, I'm going to have the, the flag on the top there. But uh, once again, I, I can say that it makes me proud and I will give more than 100% for this club and for this team to, to show off all my uh, abilities and qualities. Saying honestly, the chess is uh, very important in Armenia, starting from 1963 when uh, Tigran Petrosian uh, became world champion. So chess started to develop in Armenia greatly. In 2011, uh, chess uh, was included in uh, compulsory curriculum at schools. 
and with the help of chess we are developing other skills. If you lose, you understand your mistakes, you are going, analyzing, and uh, this uh, develops a self-analyze of a person. So he analyzes his, his moves, and also he understands the consequences. So he's making a bad move, and he is losing. So in the life also, he, uh, he starting to think one move forward, one move, two moves, three moves forward. It's very good quality for a person. Uh, I love that game. Why? Because it makes you think. It makes you think to to take decisions, to know which part you have to make stronger and which part you have to to to give to the opponent. So it's just think of ideas. So it's like a good warm up for your brain. You know there are things on a football pitch that they are taken from different sports. So it's the same. You can take from chess, you can take from uh, even from basketball, from, uh, rugby, you know, there are things that you take from this kind of sport and it gives you a good ideas about tactic or about trainings. You know, if you bring uh, different I ideas from different sports, it helps. People realize that, uh, unfortunately, we don't in our nation we have very good players, but uh, the the level uh, Henrik's level is is very much high, and so people I think understand that he is doing uh, what he can for the national team, uh, but I mean he is not a magician. It doesn't matter if it's friendly game, it's qualification, or even in Manchester. It doesn't matter for me. I want to say that uh, if you are going into the pitch, you have to give 100%. Uh, you have to fight for every ball. If you're not going to fight for every ball, maybe you will get injured. So that's why you have to give everything, all your power, and to go out of the pitch, to step out of the pitch, like tired, dead, that you feel that you give everything during the game. I'm trying to give my best, I'm trying to be very aggressive, very hungry of playing football. I'm uh, trying to to pull myself to show that hey guys uh, let's do it until the end uh, let's go behind me I'm trying to I don't know to to do not hundred percent but even more to show that I'm here I'm next to you and uh, let's do it together outside of the pitch I'm more humble I'm more calm I'm not very aggressive I'm uh, respectful to everyone to be someone who is uh, who is not giving any problems to anyone Încă unii tehnică, încă unii uh, creații mă dați o uțiune. Încă caroghe, mica, când a ghițara cazat vei, încă caroghe tribling anel, încă caroghe colhăpel, încă caroghe colain pohanțumă, ai singă, încă amen hapcuțiun, nu e nici vor pet că parța ca futbolistul. Իտեք ինչ բացի են որ ինքը մեր հայաս հայ ազգի պարծանքն է ոչ թե հայաստանի այլ հայ ազգի պարծանքն է շատ շատ ժամանակի մեղա որ ինքը մեր ոչ միայն պատանի ֆուտբոլիստերի համար մեր պատանիների երիտասարդների երեխաների համար ինքը օրինակ եղա որ եթե քոց հանկությունների հետևից անընդհատ գնաս մեզ ձգտումով գնաս քրտնաջան աշխատես հաստատ կհասնես մեզ բարձունքների ոնցով հենոնը հասե ու հիմա շատ մեր մարզիչներից համարելա հեշտ ասե որ անգարծակի ինչ որ մեկը ուզենաթ հերանաթե չի ստացվի կամ թերահավատորեն մոտենա իրագործին մենք նա անգամից ցուցենք տալիս հենրիկը բավոս գնաց թե ի՞նչ չգնաց 
Aitkan uğraşan var. Hani ki mega az gibi ama oyuna kadar yeri hamur olmaz. I do something good for this country and people uh, and people can uh, can see that I'm doing for them. So I worth it for that because I always had a dream to to be an example for for the kids. Not only for the kids that they are playing football, but as well the kids that they are not interested in football, but they are interested in my personality. Uh, I can see many kids not only walking with my T-shirt, but as well uh, just with a uh, personal clothes, and uh, they can see my myself and uh, be excited. It makes me happy, really. It makes me happy, and it makes me more real and more. Um, power to do more for them it's cool it's cool when you see the kids with their sparkling eyes um, they, they have some light and uh, they have a moment of happiness as well living in a small country uh, where sometimes life might not seem that easy so um, I think everybody yeah. loves them yeah. in Armenia <laughs> Just a dream to to win that trophy, but we did very well and uh, we got it. So next step, it has to be the Champions League Cup. So we need, we still have time, and I, I hope that one day I'm gonna achieve that as well. I know that he's he could be very proud and he's very proud, but uh, he always told me that uh, doesn't matter whatever you're gonna do. The most important that you have to be a good man because the rest is just like uh, temporary uh, of course um, all all, peop all the people they are saying that uh, if your father would be here he would be alive he would be the the happiest father in the world i'm saying that he he is he still and i'm very happy that uh, he could give me this uh, this will this hunger to to be a football player